The contents of the following program are not intended to substitute for the advice of your health care provider, and the producers of this series assume no liability for the use or misuse of the material presented. Creation or evolution? Design or random chance? They say it all began with a big bang. But when we look at the amazing human body, the answer is obvious. The complexity of the design exceeds anything man has ever made. The body could only have been designed by the master designer we read about in the Bible. Join us as we explore the miraculous development of the human baby. Divine Design. Hello, I'm Patty Barnes, director of the Midwifery Program at Heartland College. Today, we are going to talk about complications that could lead to a cesarean section. We no longer live in a perfect world since the fall of Adam and Eve, so we must face the reality that not every birth goes as smoothly as we desire. The Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 4, 7, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Unfortunately, these earthen vessels sometimes don't work exactly as we want them to. Complications arise from time to time with pregnancy. This is not a flaw in God's marvelous design, but a result of a fall of man and thousands of years of sin and its consequences. Today, we just want to look at just a few of these complications, their results, and how we might be able to avoid them. Did you know that the cesarean section rate in the U.S. is one of every three births? or about 33%. Sweden's rate is about half of that, 17%, and in Finland, only 6.6%. The World Health Organization says there should be about only 10 to 15% rate. So you could see that the U.S. is two to three times higher than that. Cesarean is the number one surgical procedure performed in America. So why is it so high? Well, there's a number of reasons behind this astronomical percentage. One is that more and more women are requesting C-sections. This is a result of a number of factors, including the desire to escape the pain of labor, the convenience of planning the delivery date, and the widespread acceptance of surgical procedures in general. Surgery is not so feared today as it once was. Another reason is that health care providers also have the convenience of setting the time, avoiding midnight, weekend, and holiday deliveries. Physicians also can better avoid liabilities and malpractice suits in this sue-happy world, and we can't escape the fact that for some physicians and hospitals, C-sections are added form of revenue, increasing the cost of a birth by several thousand dollars. The C-section rate has also risen due to the rise of medical interventions today. For example, human nature wants to speed things up. We live in an instant society that doesn't want to wait for anything. So what is the result? The use of cervical ripening agents is implemented, and there are a variety of them, but each one has its side effects. There is also Pitocin, which is a synthetic oxytocin to enhance contractions or make them stronger, which is administered to hurry up the labor. But when given too early in labor and before the cervix is softened and ready to open, it leads to unnatural and prolonged pain. To fix this, an epidural is administered, which actually slows down the process. An epidural is an anesthetic administered in the lower back to numb the mother from the waist down. 
Sadly, approximately 38% of the time that an epidural is given, some type of device such as forceps or a vacuum extractor must be used to get the baby out. And in some cases, as labor begins to drag out, a second dose of Pitocin is given to speed it up once again. This can lead the baby to go into fetal distress and a diagnosis of failure to progress is made, resulting in a C-section. C-sections themselves help account for the higher rate today. Many mothers are told that a vaginal birth after cesarean called a VBAC is not possible or at least unadvisable. Perhaps you have heard the expression, once a cesarean, always a cesarean. Well, many OBs have been reluctant to perform a VBAC. The main concern is that the uterus may rupture or split open at the previous incision site during contractions, especially if it was a classical incision, which is vertical and high up on the uterus. However, over the years, studies have shown that the risk of rupture is less than 1% if the incision is low and whether transverse or vertical. Fortunately, some OBs are now encouraged by new guidelines from the American College of Obstetric and Gynecology to give a trial of labor after cesarean to those who are considered good candidates and fortunately, most cesareans are low incisions. Yet another reason for the high rate of cesarean is the increase in those mothers who actually need them. This is due to health issues, which many of them are avoidable with proper prenatal care and education. An example is macrosomia or large overweight babies and gestational diabetes. High blood pressure is another condition that could be turned around. Unavoidable C-sections are actually few in number. Some possible causes could be malpresentation, which is when the baby is in the wrong position for delivery, or placenta previa, which is a low implantation of the placenta in the uterus. This could lead to the placenta preceding the baby in delivery. If this happens, the baby cannot survive a vaginal delivery. A prolapse cord, which is when the cord comes out before the baby, may also necessitate a cesarean. Then there are some rare cases of pelvic deformity due to an accident or birth defect. Also, if the mother has a health problem such as heart disease or cancer, a C-section may be advisable. Among other things, the World Health Organization has concluded that cesareans are effective in saving maternal and infant lives, but only when they are required for medically indicated reasons. They have determined that C-section rates higher than 10% are not associated with reductions in maternal and newborn mortality. World Health Organization also concluded that cesareans could cause significant and sometimes permanent complications. So we are truly thankful for the ability to rescue a baby or mother with a cesarean when it is necessary, but happy to avoid them if we can. Of course, this is major surgery, so let's take a look at some of the negative effects of a C-section. We have to realize that a cesarean operation involves cutting through the mother's abdominal wall and a second incision that's through the uterus. Some risks to the mother are infection at the incision site, the development of blood clots, uterine infection, anesthesia complications, surgical injury like bladder or bowel accidents, hemorrhage, and severe pain with a longer recovery time than a normal vaginal birth. Postpartum depression is also more likely after cesarean. Risks for the baby include respiratory distress syndrome or breathing problems, lack of alertness, higher incidence of jaundice, and fetal injuries like lacerations, which are rare. Further studies are being done on the effects of the baby not passing through the birth canal. In light of these facts, if you've had to have a cesarean, don't be discouraged. Here are a few tips that might help you avoid another one in the future. Wait at least nine or more months before trying to conceive again, allowing sufficient time of healing. 
Choose a doctor or midwife who is in favor of allowing a trial of labor or a VBAC. Try a natural birth without interventions to induce or augment labor whenever possible. Maintain a healthy pregnancy weight. Stay well hydrated and nourished to keep your energy level up during labor. Try various upright positions in labor to allow gravity to work in your favor. And hire a doula who is a trained birth attendant to help you through labor with natural comfort measures like hydrotherapy, massage, breathing techniques, emotional and spiritual support. Several studies have proven that doula services can largely reduce the chances of a C-section, cut down significantly on the use of interventions, including the use of forceps and vacuum extractors for delivery, shorten and ease labor and delivery, and lead to better outcomes. Babies benefit also as breastfeeding is encouraged. The doula provides constant support through labor and delivery as well as postpartum care, which also leads to less postpartum depression. These are just a few helpful suggestions. We can't overemphasize the value of becoming educated about the benefits of prenatal care, what to expect in labor, and how to implement your birth plan. In Proverbs 4, verse 7, we read, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Now I would like to say something to you dear mothers who have had or will have to have a C-section. Please don't feel like you have failed. On the contrary, you have carried your baby for nearly nine months or more and brought a new precious life into the world. And think about it. The first reproduction of human life came from the side of Adam. God performed surgery to bring Eve into the world. Your motherhood will not be measured by how you give birth, but how you raise your child, love your baby, and raise him or her in the nurture of the admonition of the Lord. Be a true mother in Israel, rejoicing in the Lord for that precious little one that God has entrusted to you. In the book, Child Guidance, page 172 and 173, we read these encouraging words. Mothers, remember that in your work, the Creator of the universe will give you help. In His strength and through His name, you can lead your children to be overcomers. Teach them to look to God for strength. Tell them that He hears their prayers. Teach them to overcome evil with good. Teach them to exert an influence that is elevating and ennobling. Lead them to unite with God, and then they will have strength to resist the strongest temptation. They will then receive the reward of the overcomer. Your compassionate Redeemer is watching you in love and sympathy, ready to hear your prayers and render you the assistance which you need in your life work. next time for another exciting episode of Divine Design. Oh,